so not the best intro but today real quick real short video um a lot of people ask why do you saw cut in general like what's the point of you putting this big 30 inch diamond blade and cutting the road what is the point well i figured here's a good time to explain i know it's very self-explanatory for some people who are in the business but if you're not in construction you don't really understand man it's no big deal it's like everything else if you were to talk about some science stuff i wouldn't really understand how certain things work because i'm not into the business so um anyways so the point of saw cutting is basically for an example ready so they want to take this area out right here from being all gravelly they want to repair these manholes storm drains and then they want to repair that patch on there but here's the thing they don't want to repair this this is all good so what they're gonna do is they make a little line it's like a box like zip it there boom to there boom, all over there and around and back so the reason they cut it is because if i were to get with the excavator out here and just start ripping it what's going to happen is this this good uh, asphalt over here is just to start tearing and jagging it's going to be all jagged and whatever it's not going to be a clean straight line so think of it like um like Man, that's a good way to do it. I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have a good analogy for it right now. Just make it a nice clean cut. So basically, you don't destroy the other side or whatever you don't want it to take out. Very self-explanatory. It's a very um, mandatory process when you do construction related, you know, removal or replacement stuff because you don't want to, like this is, this is city, right? This is most likely city as well but the city is cheap <laughs> so they don't want to replace a bunch of crap and they also want to do good work so you you basically cut a line out boom you keep this and you replace this so that's the reason for it because when you remove it there could be steel there could be um a bunch of things underneath on this side of the thing on this side of the uh, the asphalt that would rip it up and make a jagged edge and it wouldn't be very clean because when you pour it now you're gonna have weird wavy little forms i don't know it's not good so you always want to clean saw cut and have clean lines when you're removing just so you you only taking out what you need and not anything else that's pretty much the way of doing it. i'm not the best at explaining but i had someone just message me out there and make a, a junky little phone video so you guys can understand a little bit the saw is now give me a second here the saws have blades on them that you can see it maybe not if i can't see it there's little diamond tips in here so this blade is actually covered in diamonds now no they're not your grandma's diamonds that she's put in her ears they're called rough cut diamonds they're still kind of expensive but they're nothing like a finished product that's all polished and whatever it's just a rough cut con construction diamond you know whatever basically as you know diamonds are a really really strong and durable piece of aggregate that will rip through concrete without wearing out so you can cut like eight nine thousand feet of concrete or asphalt with a diamond tip blade and these blades are also like a thousand dollars so um yeah so you know it's this machine is the the start of all projects almost all the time unless it's new construction but for these old roads you're not going to just do new construction they're going to replace so it's very uh mandatory and honestly it's a pretty good business to get into if you would like to get make to construction now you have to know what you're doing when you do this because there's a lot of variables you get your blade stuck you can easily kill yourself on this thing i mean this is a huge blade the blade probably weighs over 10 pounds and it's spinning at 2300 rpm i mean <laughs> it's you don't mess around with that shit, man it's cutting concrete so if you were to fall in front of it well you have to have water so you have to have a hose and that's a something to trip on you need to trip on that and easily fall into the blade if you don't know what you're doing so if you're going to get into this business Please be careful. Construction is not something you want to do mindlessly because there's a lot of uh, dangerous things happening here. So, yep, that's the explanation. I'm going to get back to cutting. I didn't explain it very well, but hopefully you guys get the gist of it. If you ever see someone on the road with this big, weird orange machine cutting in the ground and they're not doing anything else it's for that reason because they want to cut out the bad stuff and keep the, the good stuff. So, there you go, boys. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, comment, say what up. Be prepared at the end of this month. Um, going into November, there will be some more, uh, 
I'll make a, I don't know, I won't, I won't talk about it too much, but the quality level is going to be stepped up a big time. I'm going to be uploading a little more. It's just, you know, it's hard for me to record when I'm doing this stuff, man, I, to be honest with you. This, like I said, YouTube's not my main business, man. You, this is for right now, so, alright, man, peace out.